Here's this week's My Boat feature. Ensuring that the routine maintenance and service items are done for your stern drive ensures its long life, reliability, and of course, efficiency. So this week on My Boat, we're gonna show you the steps involved in performing a variety of maintenance tasks with a Mercruiser 4.3 liter LX. One of the first maintenance items you want to perform, obviously, is to change the engine oil, and that should be done every 100 hours or once a season, whatever comes first. And to get started with that, we've got to put a set of muffs on so we can warm the engine up so the oil will flow freely. There's a few different things you can do to get the oil from the sump in your engine. And of course, one of the most popular is to use a vacuum oil extractor like this one here. Now, because this Mercruiser is a remanufactured engine, it's had one of the modern drain systems from the oil pan put on it. So we're gonna drain the oil through the hose through the drain in the hull of the boat. Next, open up the hose and let the oil drain into a catch pan. To speed up the flow, loosen the filler cap. While the oil is draining, you can move on to the oil filter. For this, you need a filter wrench and a Ziploc bag to slip over the filter to catch the filter and the oil. When installing the new filter, coat the seal with oil and tighten the filter by hand only. After securing the drain, refill the engine with the recommended oil, in this case Mercury SEA 25W40. Make sure that you don't overfill the crankcase. It holds 4.3 liters plus the capacity of the remote filter lines. It is better that the level on the dipstick is just below the full line rather than over it. Next up is the gear loop. To drain, remove the vent plug from the upper portion of the gear case with a large flat blade screwdriver, then remove the drain plug and washer from the gear housing. While the lube is draining, move on to lubricating the dry swivel and tilt points with a grease gun loaded with Mercury 24C. Pump in the grease until it just oozes from the seals. Using a prop wrench, Remove the propeller by pulling up the locking tabs, then undo the prop nut and slide the tab spline washer, propeller and thrust washer from the shaft. After cleaning the parts and shaft, inspect them for damage. Pay special attention to the shaft seal looking for leaks. Apply Mercury 24C to the shaft and parts, then reinstall. By this time the gear case can be refilled. Pump the lube into the case until it flows from the vent approximately 1.16 liters for an Alpha 1. Before reinstalling the vent and drain screws, install new washers. Skip this and you invite leaks. The last 100 hour task is to change the fuel filter. Remember to oil the seal and tighten by hand. Well, that takes care of the annual maintenance or 100 hour maintenance that you do to your 4.3 Mercruiser. Now we're going to look at some of the other things that are done a little further down the road with more time on the water, and that's looking into the ignition system and some other items. Well, first thing we're going to tackle here is changing the spark plugs. Now, depending on the configuration of your boat, this is either going to be easy to do, or in this case a little awkward, we have to work blind to reach the plugs down below the exhaust manifolds. So let's take that on. Ensure that you install marine plugs that have cold rolled threads and double dip zinc chromate coated metal shells to prevent corrosion and seizing in the block. Check the gap of the plugs against the spec in your owner's manual before installing, in this case 0.035 inches. Next step is we're going to change the cap and the rotor on the ignition system followed by the wires. Now I'm going to do the cap first, leave the wires in place, because unless you're really experienced at doing this, trying to retrace the firing order of the wires is a lot easier when they're still connected. You'll need either a straight blade or a torque screwdriver, depending on your engine year, to loosen the screws and remove the cap. The rotor simply slips off the distributor shaft and the new one slides back in place, correctly aligned by the keyway. Set the new cap in place and reinstall the screws. 
Now the last task I'm going to take on today is to change up the ignition wires. And you do have to use high quality marine wires. These have been specifically designed for the environment, but more importantly, they have the resistant wire set eliminates any electrical interference with your VHF, GPS, or other instrumentation on the boat. To ensure you keep the firing order intact, change one wire at a time. After removing an old wire, select the matching length of wire from the set and plug it into the correct location on the new distributor cap and connect it to the spark plug. You can see why it's important to follow scheduled maintenance. What we found here were a few fouled spark plugs. I'm going to tow down to my dealer and have the Mercury Techs set up a timing light and make sure the ignition timing is right where it's supposed to be.